two things to think about. Uh, so one is the downward category, the other is grossing category, right? So, so we are actually more feature we are, it was more favorable for us to rank in top grossing category because at the end of the day it was a pushback business. We really want to innovate and keep the company run, uh, run for a long time. So um, what got us to number two is as, as a you know as a product company, it's not because of marketing, but because we stressed a lot on uh, user experience and innovation. That was number two in grossing image. Number uh, no, number two in downloads. In number two in downloads. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. So the reason we got to number two is because like a few weeks ago, I mean, um, so Apple had reached out to us, you know, like, hey, you know, like we have seen what you have submitted recently. It is currently under review. Now, um, um, and that happened because of you know a, a history of two year contest. Two years ago, uh, I got in touch with their developer relations from Apple. You know, and they, kept, they come out of nowhere, right? There is no way for you to reach out to them. There was some small chance of getting promoted, but we never got promoted at that time. Then after we launched iOS 7, I had reached out before saying, hey, we are having a big update. We'd love to get your feedback. You know, is, it, is it meeting Apple's high standards of design and user experience and so forth? And then they said, um, so nobody, nobody um, wrote, wrote, wrote back to us. So then again, you know, we have to continually pursue them. I use LinkedIn to figure out an app store manager and productivity category. And uh, he was willing to, you know, yeah, let's let's chat. So we went through one design iteration. So the first person we released was 5.0.2, uh, 5.0.1, but they said, if you want us to feature you, you have to make these, these changes. So we took another week to make those changes, and then the week after, we were, we were uh, featured on best new apps. That's how we got to that. And that's how we got to number two. Before, we were ranked in number, like, top 100 for iPhone and top 50 for iPad. So so once we, how many, once we got how many downloads did that take? So um, we were getting like around 3,000 downloads a day before iOS 7 app launched. But once we got there, our uh, downloads at least went four to five times okay. so during the week. So ballpark basically took about, let's say, 15,000 downloads to get to number two in the... 12, 12 to 15,000. In the number two business category. And once you were there, um, how many downloads were you getting per day? So, so this is a this is a trick, right? It depends in Apple App Store. It depends where you are featured. You know, like if you are featured on the App Store Carousel, where you can you can swipe through five five or six apps. Uh, what I've heard is people get sixty to hundred times their daily downloads. Wow. But if you are in the category below, which is best new apps, which features around ten apps for that week, you you know you can get probably five to ten times. I mean, in our case, we got four to five times. Four to five times. Yeah. Got it. Um, and uh, okay, so that's very interesting, right? So this is mainly US. No, it's global. Global downloads are global. Okay, so the data point you would get from there is that a category like business, right, uh, which is probably not the most popular category. I mean, yeah, it's like um, two percent of apps are business in the app store. Right. So probably one of the least popular categories. To get num to get top five ranking, you need about twelve to fifteen thousand downloads in the US US app store. So. If you correlate that to other categories, you have an idea of how many downloads you actually need to sort of get to different category lines. You know, one question I've always wondered, which we saw very, very often, was that you know you mentioned you got featured and you mentioned sort of you know all the ranks and all of that. Um, some one thing that people don't think about as much is that all these users that you got because of being featured and ranked, what was the quality compared to the users you were getting before? Yeah, so that's interesting. You know, we we are all happy that you know like our downloads are released by four to five times. And our revenue should also increase by four to five times. You know, if you, if you keep the in-app purchase conversion ratio as a, as a constant factor, right? Um, but the guys who download you because of the intent, they go and search for a keyword, or they, they found out about you through some blog coverage or you know, a, um, a reference. They have direct intent that they're interested in downloading that and trying it out. So with that number, with that kind of intention, we were getting around 60% conversion. So 100 people download the app and 60 people sign up. You know, they enter the email address and they, and they try something. So once they got featured, people are just downloading it just because it's featured, you know? So they, they, they download it and once they see that, you know, or maybe they'll come back to you later on and they may not sign up immediately. So we have seen a drop of like from 60 to 10 down to 35%. So even though we have more downloads, but the number of registrations are actually marginally higher than iOS 7 launched before. So that is something interesting phenomena to 
kind of to to look into, right? Downloads matter, but at the, at the end of the day, your you know active users or you know your engaged users is what you should care about. Yeah, so that's something that uh, we saw a lot of uh, when I was at Curly. Which was basically, you know, apps that were ranked or featured, yes, got a ton of downloads, right? But then the engagement of the people coming back drops drastically. Think about it, right? Most people who see the ranked or featured app, they're like, oh wow, this is ranked and this is featured, that's why I'll get the app. They don't get the app because they actually wanted to sign a document in this case, right? So the intent is quite not there, as, as Sunil said. So as a result, you know, being ranked will get you the sort of users and get you the exposure, but you know, uh, to engagement is much, much lower compared to if you would get, you know, an organic user, what we like to call through intent. Uh, so that's great. And then, you know, the last part that I would like to touch upon when, as we're on the ranking topic uh, is, you know, we were predict prominently talking about right now the iOS app store, right? However, I'm guessing given the audience here in India, a lot of people